are functional mind and body. Welcome to Functional Mind and Body. Today, we'll be focusing on boxing psychology. And our focus today is Psychology 101, Assessing Your Opponent. In boxing, there are various things that you can do to determine the capabilities of your opponent. And there are things that a thinking fighter will always uh, try and do, and they incorporate various things within the, within the ring. Um, at some point, you typically want to find out how fast or how powerful your opponent is, as well as a key component of boxing is always balance and movement. So you want to know how they can maneuver in the ring, how quickly they respond, if they're slow-footed plotters or if they're fast and nimbly on their, on their feet. So there are different things that you can do uh, with that. Uh, they incorporate changing pace uh, sometimes. And sometimes it requires to be sit in the pocket, get in close with your opponent, and exchange a few punches with them. Uh, but doing this, you know you're entering in potentially some danger because you're, it's unknown what kind of capabilities they have. So you want to be in a strong defensive position. So in a case like that, you want to have your hands up. If you're going to engage with your opponent, you want to step in and step in close, and you want to throw some punches, it's always, a different, well, different approaches. You can come out and win away and try and hit your opponent heavy to see how he responds to that, and if he comes back strong. Or you can uh, hold something back and play around a little bit just to see how he how he responds. Okay, so that's from the power uh, or punching standpoint. There's always the movement as well. You can come out and be a little plotting in working with your opponent. Or you can take the position where you can, sh you can change up your directions, sharpness of going around, and you can swing back the other side and just see how he, how he responds. So the pivoting will do that. Now, you can only do that if you know and have a good assessment of your capabilities as well. You want to always place your strengths. So in a case like myself where I was more of a boxer, and uh, when I say a boxer, someone who's sticking and, and moving, Movement is always one of my strengths, so I would utilize that against an opponent to see if they can keep up and if they, how they manage when they change directions, if they keep their legs balanced under them, okay? So, two things is exchanging, keeping a tight defense, and trying to feel, in this case, you're hoping to feel something back from your opponent, but you're ready to defend, and then back off, and then, you can also do a lot of movement. Another thing that's important in the psychology as well is sometimes we term a feint, where you would do something like that and just see how your opponent responds. And sometimes you can do that with punch as well. And then you see how he responds. And overall, that gives you a pretty good impression of the skill set of your opponent in front of you and you have to assess that fairly, fairly quickly and determine what you want to try and take advantage of. Now, we relate our psychology of boxing to life itself. This is a typical scenario in life. Any situation that you're in, you want to be able to assess the situation as quickly as you can and determine how you can accomplish your task or what dangers lie in that, in that environment for you. So, I urge you all to take this as a practice and to try and do that each occasion as presented to you. All right, thank you. I hope you found that useful. We hope you'll follow us at functionalmb.com. Like, comment, and subscribe.